based on your own experiences as a new director on on various boards what are the most important steps in onboarding new directors particularly diverse new directors so they can really bring their full range of experience and expertise to the board and not feel like they have to conform to pre-existing uh, board norms what are the specific steps that chairs can take and uh, and what can other board members do so first of all i think one of the issues that we sometimes have except in really big companies and very professional companies is that we don't have a good onboarding um, uh, system in place uh, you might get to meet a couple of uh, board members you might get to have a tour um, and uh, you know we sent a few uh, papers on what the company is but this idea of for example meeting employees during the tour having one on one um sitting on meetings so that you really understand the dynamics of the company uh when you first join it boards should not be operational we all know this but they really have to understand the operational dynamics in order to ensure that when they're doing the strategy uh, they're doing it in a way that fits in with that company and companies differ wildly in their culture in the way that things get done in the reasons that things don't get done um so bringing in your experience is important but really understanding the difference um in the companies that you are uh on the board of and how they work and i don't think that happens enough the other thing that i think is very important in the onboarding process is that women are helped to get into the right committees um sometimes there women get assigned to be a non executive director versus a you know an executive director sometimes women are put in the human resource or recruitment um versus the other more important uh committees and so these kind of little things might help um first time board members who are female uh that may not have as much experience uh, in the process something else that needs to be done is actually having all the board uh take courses together about differences in in board experiences things happen laws change um ways of doing things differ and so to really be updated uh, as a group together uh, and to build that kind of relationship i don't think that also happens a lot of times you just come in you you sit you listen you make a few recommendations and you leave and that whole chain of um decision making is really cut short to those 2 3 days um uh, perhaps expanding it is is something very important